Good afternoon, good evening, good morning. This is the Wix online meeting number 65, May 5th, Cinco de Mayo. If you were thinking about going to a Mexican restaurant, you might want to skip it. It's going to be busy, unless, of course, you're going for the crowds, because then you'll do that. Which it's is also Revenge of the Fifth. It is Revenge of the Fifth. It is, yeah, but I'm all about the fourth, so. You know, I understand. <laughs> Uh, for those of you that aren't here now, you're watching this probably on something like YouTube or whatever, or maybe you're sitting on the Fire Giant side reading the notes that will be accompanying this at some point in the not-too-distant future when this is posted. Uh, that's just a reminder to everybody that's here right now with us that this is being recorded for all those people that aren't there. So moving on, we have a typical short agenda. I think things are going uh, smoothly right now. Uh, when people get back from some of their summer breaks, we'll probably be talking about more bigger stuff. But for now, triage, and then if there are any questions and stuff like that, we'll do that just like always. So without further ado, off to the web to go walk through some bugs. And we actually have a few, um, things like that. Bob, you still there? You ready? I'm here and ready. All righty then. And I still have a mouse cursor. We'll see how long that lasts. Allow connect collection of SQL information and warning output. I agree. That would be a great thing to do. We should do that. Basically, get uh, error detail from a SQL command. Okay. It makes total sense. Uh, It'd be cool. You have to call a bunch of calm stuff and get stuff and things like that. So, all right. Uh, uh, it could be done in 3x. 4x. Yes, it was. It could be done in 3x, but... Um, not a breaking change, it's an enhancement. So Yeah. Okay. That works for me. Crash when in executing burn detect update. Oh, I found the issue to be caused due to the, using the three seven Wix BA with a three nine burn. Some structures have changed, reconsolving the BA to match. Oh. Ah. Excellent. Excellent. So it was a BA problem. Good. Yay. So that solves that. Uh we should tick tuck this in our back pocket for whenever people have crashes. Be like, did you rebuild? No. Well, you probably should do that. Because we do not maintain yeah. binary compatibility. We maintain compile compatibility. Because it's just not worth it to maintain binary compatibility. Because it's a compile tool. Just rebuild your world. we will all be fine. We should probably explicitly talk about that somewhere. You want to turn this into a doc bug? <sighs> yeah, I think we should. I don't know where it goes. It's a problem. 310? Sorry, Three I don't know where in the documentation it goes. Oh, yes. Well, nobody's going to find it, but, you know, whatever. Development chapter? That's not horrible. Anyway. I'll take it in 310 and write something up. You have a couple suggestions. All right. Installation missing votive. 2010 DLL on Windows 10 Techno Preview. All right, haven't tried that. RC 10, someone on the cutting edge. Installed Wix, VS through an error activity log indicated the vote of 2010 was missing. Um, the problem is that this person is using Wix v3.9, which doesn't support Visual Studio 2015. Ah. But he confirmed that it was missing. Right, because... If you have only 2015 installed, oh, you don't get we're not going to install Votive in 3.9 because 3.9 doesn't support VS but 2015. Then, but then, oh, VS threw an error. It threw an error saying that this package isn't available or, or the thing right. that would open this package. Oh, man, people need to be specific about their errors. Oh. I've managed to fix this by right-clicking on Votive 2010 and checking the box that something aligns that this DLL came from another computer has been blocked, unlocked. All right, now I'm confused. Did he go and get the zip file or something? From another computer. Oh, from another computer. Or from another, I don't know, dual booting or whatever, but... And this deal okay from another computer is unblo unblo Oh, wow. Yeah, okay, so this guy hacked up his world to get himself into this state. So the right. answer is install so. Wix 3.10. Yep. Cool. Excellent. Boom. That was easy. Almost too easy. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Uh, all right. Well, this is going to be a short meeting, and I'm fine with that because i got a bunch of stuff that I'm going to go do unless people's got questions right now. Um, most of the people are out. A lot of people are out. Oh, not a lot. Just the people that contribute a lot of code are out, which usually have interesting and hard questions. Um, otherwise, 
I'm filling space to give people a chance to ask a question, but if there are none, I'm okay with that. Cool. I think we're going to call it. This is going to be a fast meeting. Hey, we went through our bugs, got all that cleaned up, and uh, we'll be here next week. I think people start showing up next week, or is it the week after? Or whichever. Um, I think we'll see where we are with things next week. It's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Um, I'm going to start seeing people use Wix 3.10 on Visual Studio 2015 more, I think, which was that what that was about. So I guess we'll see what happens as things roll. All right. I've rambled on enough trying to fill space. doesn't look like anything's coming in. So until next time, you guys take it easy. We'll catch you next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.